G'day everyone, Goober here with another Torchlight SS4 video. Um, I've done a couple of boss rush videos which prove that it's really profitable just to just run basically free uh, tier 7.2 maps um, and 7.0. You can make 400 to 600 um, FE an hour even when you're very sloppy like I was and um, pretty inefficient. So... I was looking at just doing some normal maps in Voidlands because that's normally the cheapest place to run maps. However, uh, I was looking at uh, the price of the beacons, which is quick to do. All you do is hit the price check up here. Shows that Glacial Abyss is basically 4 FE, um, or yet yeah, 4 FE for the bulk of those. Blistering Lava Sea I'll show you in, in a second. Uh, Steel Realm is super cheap, uh, 2.5. Um, Thunder Wastes is uh, about 3.5 to 4. 4 Flame Elementium each. Void Lands, which is what I just wanted to do because... Wait, what? Huh. I swear that was more expensive a second ago. Okay, so I've got a bunch of... Uh, Voidlands now, too. <laughs> I swear it was like three and a half uh, FE each when I, I looked at these a minute ago. But anyway, I just bought up all the ones under three. Um, so the price of those will probably go down as well. Uh, but Blistering Lava Sea, which is surprising, is around one to two, two and a half, etc. And there's quite a few up for 2.2. So... This test will just be running through uh, tier 8, probably 8-0. I don't know if I'll go 8-1, 8, 8-2. I'll, I'll see what my damage is like, but I'll probably just stick with 8-0. Uh, and I don't have the Netherrealm um, card in my deck. So Netherrealm Resonance is currently going for 2 for 999. Uh, you use like 26 or 32 or something per map. Uh, but the amount that you pick up covers the uh, up to 8 cost. It's just the extra 16 for that last tick is what uh, consumes your um, stocks. So basically, 999 divided by 16 is... Oops, not clock. Why did I load clock? Um, so for 2 Flame Elementium, you can fully juice 62 maps, which is crazy. So definitely get yourself a couple of stacks of uh, Netherrealm Resonance for 2 FE a pop. Um, it's worth selling Netherrealm Resonance really early in the league, um, but after a little bit, it becomes practically worthless like it is now. So always stock up if you are running out. Um, so this test, I will be running um, probably Lava Sea. I have 35 of those now. Um, I was going to run uh, Void Lands, which I guess I bought too many because I have more than 100. How many do I actually have? I've got 102 Void Lands and I have 35 Boiling uh, Flame Sea. So I guess I can do an hour in uh, Flame Sea, an hour in Void Lands. We'll do 8 0 in both locations and we'll compare the two and see how much we get. Uh, looking at the trait deck that I'll be running, um, I just set it up for this. That is not the right one. This side. Um, I've read some of the comments on the videos and I was just running these two. However, I've been told that you can get up to six bosses if you replicate bosses and replicate bosses. So... Um, that's going to be interesting to see if I can get even more bosses because bosses have a chance to drop rank 5 plus beacons um, more often. And yeah, so that's pretty interesting. I'm just running with um, these two for Black Sail. People swear that you just stack the additional um, chance for legendaries and stuff. So I'm just going to do that. I'm pretty strapped for cards for this setup anyway. Um, I have got us to the hunt, hoping that I get a um, Aurora ring or one of the other rare ring bases to drop with 100, 200. 
a raw ring base with 100-200 is still 1400 flame elementium for a crafting base which is absolutely insane and since i need two for my build um, i definitely want that and bosses have a chance to drop one additional rank 5 beacon uh, if the bosses uh, duplicate and duplicate then um, that's a chance for a, a lot of extra rank 5 beacons and then I just have oh excuse me uh, nightmare because nightmare is awesome with um, uh, this one I don't know if, if I should go this one or the additional drop quant probably additional drop quant but I never really noticed uh, that pop up how handy would it be if we had three extra uh, trait cards? Uh, devs. <clears throat> three more. Three more. Come on. Three more. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so I'll run Voidlands first. I'll set up the spreadsheet and I'll see you in a second. Alrighty, we have our spreadsheet here. I'll have to update the prices when we get to it. Obviously, the price of these is much much cheaper now they're all around about 2.5 i believe uh 2.5 for those um and dark knights were 2.5 roughly um i will keep track of how many beacons i have to start which is 99 and 35 I put some in the stash so they're easier to track. So void lands I have 99 and love C I have 35. I dare say I'll get through about 35 eight zeros in an hour. If I get through more then um, I will buy more. Uh, the cards that I'm going to be focusing on, these are all absolutely horrible to start with, so I'll just do the two to get rid of it. Juice that up to the max. I'm not going to use compasses. Um, I may in future use the chance for gear to drop because it's pretty cheap. And as you can see, my build is completely automated now, which is pretty sweet. Um, I am t testing out Duckage's loot filter uh, to see how that goes. It has over a thousand downloads, etc. Um, so I dare say it's probably pretty good. And um, my one was highly customized for my playstyle. Oh, and when I say highly, I had the uh, designs and stuff that I enjoy looking at. Um, but we'll see how this goes. So, Boom Moto with Perpetual Motion. Um, I'm doing about 20-ish billion DPS in my drop spirits. Um, if I switch to damage, then I do a bunch more. Um, I don't really care what that is. Oh, three bosses. That's pretty cool. Um, one beacon. I mean, it pays for the map basically so that's cool um, let's do one more nothing really dropped then so I got one crafting base I think didn't I which I don't know if that's worth anything 100 200 price check yeah, 20 okay 10 20 something like that not bad, not a bad start. If that's 20 FE, if it sells. Um, I think the crafting bases I will list as we go. And then anything that sells, I will uh, include that in the uh, profit. Uh, if it doesn't sell within that hour, then I won't count it. Um, obviously, we've made profit off this map already. But it's not just about how much profit can we make in the map. It's about how much profit an hour it is compared to just doing boss rush, which is very brainless and uh, you can practically do in your sleep. Uh, this you have to kind of pay attention. 
uh, Dragon Guardian. Why are they s those colours? Is Max Sentry really good? Is that what's happening? No idea. Uh, have Fervor. Have Fervor is normally pretty good. I mean, I don't know if it's worth the extra colours, but maybe if it's on the right base, it's worth a lot of money. I don't know. It's always interesting what other people put on their filters and what they value as high commodity items. This will trigger a Void C, so we'll go in and do the Void C as well. Um, I didn't want to go to the effort of resetting everything down to um, base level, because it's not really realistic, is it? Um, additional, whatever. I really should set up my pack spirits for Void C, shouldn't I? So when I come in here... I just switched to the Void C ones. I didn't set a timer going. God damn it. Um, I guess I'll set a timer going, do two maps. Was it two? Two maps, and then I'll just sit idle until that's uh, caught up. There we go. I'll do one more map. I didn't even pay attention to the recording time, so I can't even use that. So we'll go with this. I really wish it would just be a drop down or a max or something because I don't care about the affixes. I never look at the affixes on the map as they mean literally nothing to me. Um, oh, I can't do any of that. So let's just... Ah, okay, this triggered too. I guess we'll do this as well. I don't think it's a very good one anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I can't replicate anything. Um, all I can do is upgrade. I love that this build is automated. So I just have to run around. I do want to uh, add Flame Dash to the build to uh, make me even speedier. Profound dream talking. What's that, Ruby? Mummy's got to do her makeup. And you. And you. Okay. Have fun. You're going shopping. That's amazing. I was going to pause, but she's kind of cute. Sometimes. Got a Mites Divinity. Interesting colour. Does that mean it's good? I don't know. Guess I'll check in a minute. Not really the most amazing loot in here so far. I've got a couple of FE, couple of slates that might be worth something. Those relics and stuff good? I don't know. That probably took as long as one map. I dare say the maps are taking around about two, a minute or two each. clear enough. I'm not going to full clear these maps because I'm not really that speedy. If I was a speedy build then I would definitely clear more of the, more of the map um, before going to the boss. But oh well. Come on, drop me a rank 5 plus beacon. Boo. I didn't even get the uh, the wonder one. Phew. Bit sloppy. Oh, dying. Void see apostle. Drop me something. No, 
Okay, fine. All right, I'm going to pause here. I'll see you at the end of the hour. Why'd you have to be a prototype, damn it? G'day, everyone. As I come up to my final... Uh, why am I pressing R? I don't have to press anything. Uh, as I come up to my final map, uh, I've realised a fatal flaw in this plan. Um, obviously, this is a very unpopular time of day to play. Uh, and not only that, I don't have an infinite number of trade uh, tabs. I've only got the one extra that you get with the season pass. So, um, having a plan of including the um, item drops that come through with, you know, having those two cards in, there's no way that I'm going to be able to sell enough of them to influence the um, the results. So I have been putting them up for five to 10 flame elementium each. However, as you're about to see, one item has sold <laughs> for 10 flame elementium. And I have quite a few uh, bases here that have dropped, which I don't know, seem okay to me. Another 10 flame momentium or so. Um, additional curse. Is that good? No. <laughs> so, I don't know. That's the problem with using other people's filters. Like, eh, he considers cast one additional curse good, but really probably not on that base. Um, so, anywho, uh, I didn't really get any major drops uh, from that round. I'll quickly tally up what we... What is that? What we got, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, looking at what we had drop. It seemed like a lot was dropping, uh, but we also had to make up the 90 flame elementium cost. Uh, we started with 99, we ended up with 63, so effectively we used 36 for a total cost of uh, 90 flame elementium. Uh, we had a whole bunch of flame elementium and lost secrets drop, which accounts for 214 flame elementium, which doubles the cost of the run, so everything else was just uh, free. Um, it's honestly not as good as... 7-2 boss rush however um, it's something different and we'll do flame C now for an hour and compare, compare the pair uh, so we'll just make this one uh, 546.8 and uh, I'll see you in a minute alrighty round two set up ready to go let's do some flame C unfortunately someone shared a really cool looking build in chat which I want to try but um, I'm doing a test, so I can't even buy the stuff yet. Um, Anywho, what a start. You see that down there? <laughs> I forgot to start the timer as well. This is the first map. The first map that I've done. In. <clears throat> oh, this is a good hour. <laughs> Are you kidding? I just had a second one drop in 15 minutes. That is actually insane. Two immolating flames in 15 minutes. I have th they're the first two that I've found uh, that I've found this uh, season, which is pretty funny that they just happen to drop now. Uh, reminds me of a video that I made either last season or the season before where um, I had two drop in pretty much the similar time frame. It was kind of crazy. Um, ended up giving one of those away in that season. Um, but yeah, so interesting. 15 minutes. I've never had this at cap before. I didn't realize it glowed red like that. It's kind of cool. 
Oh well, I guess that's all wasted now. Ultimate demolition plan. I have no idea what that is. <clears throat> Why was that a special colour? That's ten. <clears throat> it's, uh, I thought energy cores were worthless all the time. Like, that one's interesting, but this one's... Well, it's two flame elementium. But, you know, it's pretty rare, so... I'm going to go for it. I haven't really had much luck with the other one, so... Alrighty, I completely spaced out there and almost missed the hour ticking over. So, that's the end of this test. Uh, we got pretty insanely lucky, I must admit. Um, it's a couple bases that I have no idea what they're worth. Uh, pretty standard. I didn't bother trying to sell anything uh, this time around. I don't see any super rare bases here. That's pretty cool. Four T1s. Um, item level. Oh, I was going to say it doesn't have 200 plus sissy. Wait. What? Oh, it does. Oh, there it all is. That was weird. Um, <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> is that base worth anything? Is base is worth um, four min channel stacks? No. Buy res? Sure. Okay. Whatever. Anywho. Um, plus two spell skill level. Ooh, that's nice. Goober might use that one. One FE? Surely not. For 100, 200, Bard's Wand with plus two spell skill. Okay, I guess I know what I'm crafting on soon. Um, this was an interesting looking drop. I guess it's garbage. Um, nothing else special there. We didn't have any precise drop we had 162 fe it's pretty much on par with the other one um 27 eyes instead of 44 we capped out our um amount and looking at this we only had one rank five plus beacon however we had two of these drop really early so that's 680 flame elementium straight away <laughs> pretty nuts all right, let me total and see what we got. Alrighty, uh, so this is what we got. 162 FE, 191 including the Lost Secrets. Uh, pretty reasonable, pretty standard across the other hour as well, I believe. Uh, Tomorrow's Direction, a couple of those. Forbidden Prophecies. Uh, only one rank 5 plus Beacon. And um, a couple rank 5 beacons, even including all of them. It's still negative 36 flame elementium there because we had 77 FE worth. I believe we did an extra 4 maps of Void C, so it was um, another 10 on top of that. So basically 90. Maybe we did 6 more. Um, but anyway, a bit slower maps. But because of the immolating flame drops, if we take that away, um, didn't I just, oh, I took away the wrong one. If we take away the two immolating flames, then flame C was far worse. Um, however, we got two and that's, you know, accounts because it dropped in that area. So two hours, almost 1500 flame elementium not including whatever bases may end up selling. They're not selling right this second, so um, can't count them. But yeah, pretty interesting. It's, it seems pretty much on par with just boss rushing. So why not just boss rush, I guess? Uh, I'm going to have to try an 8-0 uh, boss rush and an 8-0 um, juiced boss rush. Probably just do 30 minutes of each. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
and see how we go. All right, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.